This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, welcome Rabbi Isai. We continue in uh, Tarma Devaira. Courtesy of Nassim Wadler, Shkoyach, for making this review sheet. We're going to review um, Paragimel. Um, Paragimel discusses the second Sphira, which is Chachma, um, right below Kesar. And it's Hashem's Chachma is apparent in all of creation, although it's very hidden. And likewise, a person's wisdom should be apparent in everything that a person does. And in that sense, likewise, a person should try to influence his wisdom um, everywhere we go, to whatever extent we're able to. So the Torah Devar says that Chachma has two aspects. One is facing upward to Kesar, one is facing downward to influence the lower spheroids. So therefore we are responsible to emulate that in both dimensions, namely by spending time amassing our own Chachma, and secondly by uh, sharing our Chachma with others. Now, Tarmat basically says that Chachma uh, should be apparent and um, in four ways. Way number one is, um, says the Tarmat Devaira, Chachma, the Mida of Chachma, the Mida of Hashem's Chachma, it oversees and is watching out for all of reality and all of creation and every human being. And therefore, emulating the Mida of Chachma is one should contemplate and one should think about all those who perhaps seem lost, seem forgotten, forsaken. One should have thoughts about them, how to bring them closer, how to bring them back. Nobody should be beneath one's purview, as nothing in creation is beneath the purview of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So that is the first aspect of Chachma. The second aspect of Chachma is that Chachma is the source of life for everything, as the Pasuk says, V'ha'chachma techaya ba'alaha. Therefore, the Tarmat Devara says, one should try to share his, excuse me, one should be a source of life to everyone. One should be a source of life to all of creation, to every human being, to offer them advice of successful living in this world for Olam Abba, Okay, so that is the second dimension of Chachma. Likewise, um, uh, similarly, the Tarmat Devar says a third dimension of, of Chachma, and as Rav Goldberg explained, these are two different Nukudas. Nukuda number one is Chachma infuses life into everything, and also Chachma is a, the father of everything. That added Nukuda is, aside from its life-giving powers, to be a father means to care for other needs of a person, whether it's their financial situation, whether it's their health, not just life, but one should pray and daven like an avharachaman, for someone who perhaps is a little slower or a little different, or someone who's a little bit more difficult, or somebody who seems to be forgotten, or someone who is desolate, or someone who is incapacitated, or someone is lost, be a father to them. To who? To every single Jew. And then finally, the Talmud Devara said, the fourth uh, phenomenon of Chachma is since... God created everything with wisdom, and there is wisdom in everything, therefore one should not disparage or demean any human being, any living being, any, anything that grows, even inanimate. One should not waste anything, certainly not to waste food, which is nourishing of a human being. One should be very careful not to allow anything to go to waste. And if somebody does have to take the life of a living being, it should only be for the purpose of elevating it and bringing it to a higher form. Okay, so that um, is really the executive summary of um, Perak Gimel, and Be'ezus Hashem, now we begin Perak Dalet Shkach, Rav Nassim for the recap. If anybody wants it, you could let us know. We'll be happy to get it to you. Let me, okay. So, um, we continue in Perak Dalet. Bina, of course, is the third uh, sphera. 
What does it mean the third sphere? The first sphere is Kesar. Kesar is synonymous with uh, Das. Uh, then you have Chachma. And now we have Bina. Now let's just begin with an interesting comment of the Zayra Kadosh in the Raya Mehemna. This is something quoted by Rav Goldberg in Ois Gimel. I got a message today from a friend in Santiago, Chile, who's following the Timer of the So he wanted to know about this Sefer that I'm quoting. So here we go. You ready? This is a Sefer. Timer of with the parish of Halachta Bedrachov. It's available anyway, anywhere, uh, pretty much. Your local uh, farm store. And I have been using it extensively. It's a very nice parish. Okay, so we begin with Parag Dalit, And the Raya Mehemna says, Bina is associated with Tshuva. In order to... Um, we're looking forward to the summary on the WhatsApp group. That's great. Okay, so yeah, we'll get it to you. The, the Zaira Kaddish teaches us that Bina is synonymous with Tshuva. If you remember, last year we gave a shir uh, quoting extensively from Ramosha Shapiro that there are many, many Ramazim to Elul. Elul is Marumas everywhere. If you remember, we brought something like 40 Ramazim to Elul. Ani ledoi di vidoi di li, ino liade visamti lecha, and so on and so forth. Many, many Ramazim to Elul. So what's interesting is, why is Elul, uh, the, the idea which is Marumas in the Torah, I mean, just say it straight out. Why, does it, why do we need the, the hidden hint to Elul? So we brought an idea that Tshuva is Bina. Tshuva is synonymous with Bina. And therefore, Daya L'chakima Baramiza. In other words, since it requires Bina, the correct way to convey it is through a Remez. So this is what we're learning now. The third, the third sphera is the sphera of Bina, Vuhu, Lashuv, B'Sashuvah. Bina it dictates that we should repent in Shuva. She'ein davar chashuv kamaya. There is nothing more chashuv than Shuva. There's nothing more important in the world than Shuva. As Rabbi Saul Salanta writes, Yom Kippur is something which is so good. It's a day of slicha v'chapara. There is no day for Klal Yisrael better than Yom Kippur. Rabbi Yisrael Salanter uses a lashon, Ein lanu davar toiv mimenu. There is nothing in the world greater than Yom Kippur. And this is what the Tarmah Devar is saying. Ein davar chashav kamaya. Mibnei shehi misakenes kol pagam. Tshuva corrects every deficiency. Tshuva corrects every deficiency. Ukamay shederach habina lematek kol hadinim. Just like it is the manner of Bina to sweeten any harsh judgments, ulavatel merirusam, and to nullify, he translates here, to neutralize their bitterness. In other words, tshuva, excuse me, Bina, Bina has the capacity to soften midas hadin. Likewise, umi shemeharer, kacha adam yashav the tshuva v'isakin kobagam. Likewise, a person should repent in tshuva and correct every deficiency. It is the manner of bina, it is the capability of bina to sweeten dinim. So too, a person should return in tshuva and correct every deficiency. And there's a concept that every day of a person's life, one should have thoughts of tshuva. Umi shemahar tshuva kol yamav, one who contemplates tshuva every day of his life, what you'll be doing is you'll be illuminating Bina into every day. It sounds like there's a special Indian of infusing every day with Bina. We never had that before. We never had every day Kesar, every day Chachma. But every day there should be Bina. Venimsu kol yamav, and it will come out every day of your life. You made tshuva will be days of repentance. Dahainu lichlal atzmai babina to incorporate and include yourself in bina. Shehi tshuva vimei chayav, and thereby the days of your life meutarim beside atshuva yaina will be crowned in the secret of the supernal tshuva. What does it mean, the supernal tshuva? It sounds like corresponding to your teshuva, you will be ma'orer Hashem's tshuva. And Hashem's tshuva is to take midas hadin and to turn it back until midas harachamim. This is a very important point. Because what we're learning is, there's a concept that Hashem does tshuva. What does Hashem need to do tshuva from? 
That's the sphere of Bina. What does it mean Hashem is doing tshuva? He's taking something that went out, namely Midas Hadin, and He's bring it, bringing it back into its source and being mamtik the dinim. That's what the term of is saying. Just like Bina is mematik dinim, meaning God's Bina. God's Bina takes Midas Hadin and neutralizes it. So too, by us doing tshuva, we correct every pagam, but we also crown our days with Midas Habina. Remember we said that the only way to be Ma'ira Hashem's Midas is for us to conduct ourselves in that way. So by us doing tshuva in a way that is Ma'ira Hashem to do tshuva. In fact, if Goldberg brings a uh, medrash that we're going to speak about Bez Hashem more next week, this he quotes in Ois Vav. There's a Psik of Kahana that says, Shuva Yisrael Ad Hashem Lekecha. It's a mashal to a king, a, a, to the son of a king who is sick. And the doctor says, take this bitter medicine and you'll be better. The son was afraid to take it. So the father says, don't worry, it's not going to hurt you. You want to see? And the father takes a little bit of it. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu says to Klali, so you're embarrassed to do tshuva? Don't be embarrassed. I'll do tshuva first. Kayam Hashem, hinini shav. Says the Medrash, Madach, someone who has no chatoim, chas v'shalom, does tshuva, certainly... Us, who have chatam, certainly we have to do tshuva. So what does the medrash mean? Hashem is doing tshuva. What is the Indian of Hashem doing tshuva? Says Rav Goldberg, this is what we're referencing over here. By somehow bringing Midas Hadin back to the Shoyresh and being Mematek the Din, that is Hashem's form of tshuva. And we'll just read two lines. Re'eh, ki kemoy tshuva yesh ba Shoyresh kal hanem sa'is. Tshuva involves bringing something back to its root. Rav Goldberg explains, the Indian of Tshuva is to bring something back to its root, bring something back into the way it started. It didn't start with Pagam, it didn't start with sol- being sullied. So Tshuva brings something back to its root, likewise we're, we're taking the, the Charoin Af of Hashem, so to speak, that was Nispashed and bringing it back to where it came from. So there is this concept of this parallel Tshuva, that by us doing tshuva downstairs, it's ma'orer midas habina upstairs, and it's ma'orer hakadosh baruch Hu to be mematik the dinim. Okay, bezus Hashem, we will continue next week. Thank you everyone for joining, and wishing everyone bracha v'atzlacha. Shkoyach. Chavis, Chavis, Chavis. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.